The STS K002 surface mounted system includes the following components. An A31H amplifier, a surface mounted speaker pod, a surface mounted microphone pod, a staff loudspeaker unit, a power supply, fixings, and a counter hearing loop aerial. The microphone and speaker pods look visually similar and are fitted the same way. The pod should be fitted at least 16 inches apart. To install, first remove the screws which are holding the cover on. Once removed, slide the cover away from the mounting bracket. Inside you will find wadding, the loudspeaker or microphone, and the cabling. Remove the cabling from the mounting bracket by holding the bracket in place and pulling the cable through, untangling as you go. Underneath you will find two holes for fixing to the counter, as well as a larger hole for cabling. Place the pod base in the location for fitting. Place it against the glass, then pull it away by a few millimeters. This allows for the cover to go on without making the holes too tight. Mark the fixing holes in the access hole by drawing around the shape of the holes and removing the pod base for drilling. Now, drill a hole for the cabling. A drill diameter of 6 to 7 mm is recommended for the loudspeaker cable and 4 to 4.5 mm for the microphone cable. Drill two small pilot holes for the mounting bracket. Fix the mounting bracket to the counter using screws that are suitable for the given surface. You may need to remove the green connector to feed the cable through the hole. Feed the cable through to the previously drilled cable hole and thread it all the way, leaving about 6 inches inside of the pod. Ensure the connector is screwed back onto the cable at the correct polarity. This will allow for the cable to be easily accessible should future maintenance be required. Reinstall the wadding and slide the speaker pod back onto the mounting bracket, being careful not to trap any cabling. Reinstall the screws and the installation is complete. Place the staff loudspeaker on the staff side of the countertop. Ensure that it does not cause an obstruction and is as close to staff as possible. Use the cable management hole in the counter to run the staff loudspeaker cable back to the amplifier position. If there is not already a cable management hole, drill in a suitable location near the rear of the counter. To install the under the counter hearing loop, ascertain the intended user's position. Install the hearing loop cable so that the center of the created rectangle shape is positioned towards the intended user's position. Place the aerial in an inverted L shape on the underside of the counter, following the example of the displayed installation. Insert the staff microphone connection to sockets 16 and 17, also labeled the staff mic connection. Insert the staff loudspeaker connection into sockets 5 and 6, also labeled the staff speaker connection. Insert the customer microphone connection into sockets 14 and 15, also labeled the customer microphone connection. Insert the customer loudspeaker connection into sockets 3 and 4, also labeled the customer speaker connection. For a hearing loop output, connect to sockets 1 and 2 labeled loop. The power connection goes into the socket labeled PWR. Place the amplifier under the staff counter, ensuring that it will not obstruct staff when they are sitting. The amplifier front should face outwards with adjustment buttons accessible. Drill and fix the amplifier in place using the supplied screws. Install the amplifier's power supply close to a power socket outlet using the supplied mounting bracket and fixing screws. Route all cabling securely, fixing cables into position using provided cable clips or other suitable fixings. Ensure all hearing loop signage is displayed prominently. Adhere the provided hearing loop sticker to the glass or plastic screen or to other surfaces available. The label should be clearly visible in an unobstructed position 